Hey everybody, welcome. This is MJ. Um, tonight is going to be a pretty quick uh, episode. But um, so, like last week at this time, you guys were all watching the Cubs game, and that was pretty cool. But it's nice to see uh, that some of you are hopping in. And I just wanted to go over really quickly, give you some pretty cool, pretty different ideas of what you can do with your race medals. So, hey, Leslie. Hey, Leslie, I saw that picture of you with the president. How cool. Girl, you are lucky. That is something that, you know, most people never, ever get an opportunity to do is meet the president. So congratulations to you. That's pretty cool. Um, hey, Darlene. Welcome. Good to see you on here. Good to see you. So I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds for the word to get out and people to jump in. Remember, every Sunday night, 7 o'clock. I'm going to jump in talking about different topics. I actually have a list. I should have brought the list so I can tell you what I'm going to talk about next Sunday, but um, I don't have it in front of me. Hey, Jim. Thank you for your help today. How was your ERG workout? Cool. Hey, Dan. Welcome. Thanks for hopping in. My dog can be anywhere in the house. He hears me talking to the phone, and he has to come right here. Like, where's the party? Who are you talking to? Hey, Lisa. Stay. On. I hope you can stay on, Lisa, because I'm going to ask a favor of you later in this um, video because I'm going to need somebody's help to do some typing. And that could be you. So, all right, cool. I am just going to jump into it right here and, and talk about what you can do with your race medals. Uh, now, when you're new at this and all that, you know, your race medals, they're prized possessions, and you, all, you know, you, you earned, you worked so hard for them, but... After a while, they start to accumulate. So there are some things that you can do. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Debbie. Welcome, guys. So the very first thing I wanted to point out is that you could find a, a child at the end of the race, and particularly and somebody put a post on, um, on Facebook that his, his daughter was racing, and I don't know if it was Ironman Louisville. I can't remember which race it was, but his daughter was watching him race, and somebody at the end of the race gave, turned around and asked her, do you want to do an Ironman someday? And she said yes, and he turned around and gave her the medal. And the girl, apparently for weeks, just couldn't stop talking about it. It's a pretty cool story. Hey, Dave. Hey, Remy. So, hey, Remy, how was your race, dude? I haven't talked to you because it was Louisville, right? So, anyway, give, give your medal if it doesn't mean that whole lot to you. If you see a kid who's like watching and real into it or watching their parents, whatever, and you offer that medal to them, you are going to make that kid's day, make an impression and, and inspire that child to go on and, and do some, some of that, whether, whether it be a 5k marathon, Ironman, doesn't matter what it is, but I mean, it, that means that's a big thing. It means something to them. Hey, Mendy. All right. Number two, um, practicalize them. Practicalize. Is that a word? I don't know. I think I read that somewhere. But anyway, make something out of them. So a couple of ideas are um, make a magnet or like a bottle opener or um, a Christmas ornament or a hook or something cool. Like make it, make, make, make it useful so it's not just something, you know, sitting around in a drawer collecting dust somewhere. Something that you can look at every day and remember your accomplishment. That's a cool idea. If you're, so if you're kind of handy, you can do something like this. Hey, Ken. And, oh, now, I'm not sure who's watching me right now, but um, I'm going to get to you guys uh, last, as you see. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? So, yeah, so so make something out of them. Like I said, if you're pretty handy, there's a lot of things. You know, look it up online. I mean, th th that's what's so great about Google, how to make blah, blah, blah out of a metal. You can do whatever you want to do. And if you've just got, you know, a Michaels or some kind of craft store nearby, it really doesn't take much. Um, a coaster, yeah, that's a cool one, Dave. That, and that's an easy one too, depending on what kind of medal you get. Because wait, because I got, I, I brought some of my medals, um, and I'll tell you a quick story in a minute. But but I got some medals. You can't make a coaster out of it unless you're using a shot glass. Ah, so <laughs> um, coaster, yeah, cool idea. All right, number three is you can donate them. And there's a guy, I forget his name, you guys, but he, I, I think it started. He's an Indi from Indianapolis. He started a thing. He was a doctor, and he um, he started donating. He was he was a I don't I don't know if he's a marathon or Ironman or whatever he was, but he started. He was a doctor. He started giving his medals to his sick kids, sick sick patients. I don't know sick patients or sick kids, but it meant so much to him. And he'd give a story like a story about what he went through to get that medal. 
um, and cheer up that particular patient, you know, because it's probably something that the, the, the type of, of people that get them, I don't think they'll ever be able to accomplish something like that. So it's called Metals for Metal. It's M-E-D-A-L's, the number four, metal. You know, you're spelling it wrong, Jim. Lisa, it's, it's ooh, Julia, I like that idea, wind chimes. Um, metals for Metal, it's M-E-D-A-L's, the number four, and then metal, M E. T T L E, I think. Look it up. Can somebody look it up, Jim? Look it up. That it's metal for metals, but it, I looked it up earlier and I forgot. To, I forgot to write down. I should have wrote down. I thought I remember. Um, but now it, it's it's a big thing, and it's it's not just him that's doing it. It's, you collect them. So if you have a pile of, I think they only take marathon and above, Ironman and above. And I know that when I say above, like they don't really. They're not interested in your 10K race. Sorry, guys. I know it means something to us, but it doesn't mean much to them. Um, hey, Bob. So you can you can donate them. Um, but but the the popular ones are the Disney ones. And let me show you guys because I did happen to do the Goofy Challenge. I know that there's a Dopey Knot. I didn't do that one. But this big old honking metal. Can you see that? Okay, it's huge, by the way. It's heavy. It's really heavy. So these are, I guess these Disney ones are the most popular ones. Um, and so I really do need to get to donating them because these all actually just came out of my basement. They've been sitting in a box for a couple of years. So there's that. Um, and then the last thing, and, and oh, I forgot to tell you guys. If you watch to the end, I should have started this at the beginning. Watch to the end. And I've got a, sp a special prize for you, a prize, a, a reward for you guys for watching to the end. But if you don't want to donate your medals and they mean so much to you, you've worked so hard, you've earned them, this is a big thing to you. Hey, Jackie, hey, Mary, you can display them. How many people, how many people online here do that, display your medals? I used to. I used to have them all hanging on a bookcase, and then I just, I never really spread them out. You couldn't see them. They were all just kind of hung on top of each other. And then I had to paint that room, so I took them all down. I put them in a box in the basement, and there they have sat. So I really should get to donating them. She told me a story when she gave an Iron Man medal to a little boy with cancer, and he loved it. Oh, sister. Yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, it's a big thing to them. Lisa, you display yours? Yeah, cool. You have a huge display in your man, in your man cave, <laughs> Jen? Really? So funny. Oh, so I want to show you guys the one that you can't make a closer out of. I have a lot of medals. I race a lot. And I'm proud of I'm proud of them all, don't get me wrong, but there are some that are near and dear to my heart. So this was my Boston Marathon medal, right? Okay, this um it's tiny. It's tiny. they can't have a coaster out of that. It's tiny. And I don't care. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. So hey Sherry, yours are displayed on your Christmas card holder, but they've given some away also. Yeah, no, see that's cool. You display them but need them on hooks or might donate them. Display them, okay guys. You've got a rack. You've got a rack, Lara. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I went there. Haven't put them up yet. All metal still in a box. So I have a deal for you guys for watching down this video if you want to display them. A couple things. I have good friends who own a metal display company. And they have graciously offered to give anybody uh, watching this video a discount. And I'm going to ask Lisa to type it up here in a minute, um, the code. But there's two things that they're going to do. So I want to, well, I want to make sure I get this right for you guys. So if you, if you want to hang on to your medals, you want to display them and make something really special on them, you can do that. So the discount, first of all, they do engraving. So let me show you this one. I don't know. Let me see if I can get this up close. It asks for, I'm getting old, time and place in the Boston Marathon. Yeah, like you really want to know my place in the Boston Marathon. Right there. See, see up there at the top? They can engrave that for you. They actually have a partnership with the Boston Marathon, so they can engrave that for you. And then there's, like, okay, this is my favorite one, okay? It's the big Kona medal, all right? This, so, but on the back, you can engrave, like, your your time, your finish time, the date. You can engrave whatever you want, your place, um, all that good stuff. So, if you are interested in doing that, you can get, they will, they, they normally do, it costs normally costs twenty dollars to engrave something on a metal, uh, your whatever you want on it. Right now they're doing a special that's ten dollars a metal, or if you have three metals that you want engraved, they'll do those for twenty five dollars. Um, hey Alvin, hey Sarah, so twenty five dollars 
to engrave three metals. Now, I get nothing from this, you guys. It's just they're friends of mine. I want to help them grow their business. And I thought it's a cool idea if that's something that you want to do. But the other thing, if you want to do a display, and you guys have all seen them, and they can customize. Uh, get, you can get what you want, but I'm going to give you their website. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Aunt Rogue. We missed you at the pool. Well, both of you, actually. Okay, so here's what you want to do. If you want uh, an athletic, it's, it's, it's a metal display. The, the website is, is athleticdisplays.com. Christmas tree ornaments. Yeah, Kevin. That's a great one. I love it. Athleticdisplays.com. Lisa or, or Melissa, or somebody, can you type that in there? For people, go to athleticdisplays.com. And then um, here's the code. If you want to get, you will get 20% off of any display you want. Okay, it's a limited time, so you got to do this quick. Four Friends 2016. Four is in the number four. Friends, F R I E N D S, then 2016. If you go to athleticsdisplays.com and then you place an order and you use that code, thank you, Lisa, and then put the code in for me, please. Four Friends, the number four, Friends. 2016, you'll get 20% off of any display you want. Again, guys, I don't make anything of this. I'm not making any money, no kickbacks or anything like that. I am just simply trying to help them out with their business and help you guys because I think it's a really cool thing to do. It's something I never did, but when I first started racing and started collecting all these medals, they weren't even in business yet. 20% um, off, four friends, two th awesome, Lisa, very cool. All right, guys, what other ideas do you have that I haven't mentioned? here that you do with your medals. Anybody? Anybody? Thanks, Debbie. Do you display your medals? I know you have to have a ton of them too. And you know what, I mean, like, so, like for me, I, I think, you know, once you collect so many, I'd, I'd, I think I'd have a, a marathon ra um, one display. I think I'd have a tra uh, Iron Man display. I think maybe then I'd have just a regular triathlon display, you know? I know uh, Jim, and I don't know if he's still on here, he talked about his sister is, it was involved in Medals for Medals. I'm not sure that she, she does it much anymore, although she probably knows the right place to get to, to handle them. Um, Jim puts them all, like hangs them all in the garage, just in a big line in, in the garage. They're all kind of all over the place. But, you know, once in a, you know, after a while, you get, you get a lot of medals. It's kind of cool. You put pictures and the medals in the frames, but can't show the pictures on the live feed. You can post after. Oh, I was going to ask you that. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, we talked about this morning. I would like to see pictures of what, what all you guys um, do for, for your medals. I'd love to see your displays. Like I said, mine were all just hanging on the corners of a bookshelf, and then I, they just got stacked up and stacked up and stacked up. You couldn't see them anymore. I went to paint the room, put them all in a box, thought I'd put them up later, and they've sat there for a couple years now. Yeah, Jim, I'm not sure if she's still doing it either. Hanging from a bookshelf. Can't see them all. See? You need a display, Debbie. You need a display. Also need ideas for belt, bu belt buckles, ultras. Uh, yeah. Hey, Devin. Welcome. Belt buckles. That's a great idea. Um, I mean, you, that's a great one to find an idea for. I don't know. Maybe you just... I'll bet you, I'll bet you if you talk to my friend or, over at athleticdisplays.com, they can figure out some way to, that you could display those. Then you just have to... Do a bunch of more ultras with belt buckles so you can hang them all up and fill the hooks. Um, hey, Nancy. Hey, Bill. Welcome, guys. I am talking to you about what you can do with your race medals because some of us hang them up. Some of us display them. Some of us give them away. I'm, I'm curious as to what you guys do. Pr practicalize them. Um, again, I don't know that that's a word. Hey, De hey, Debbie. How are you? Hey, why don't you come swim with us at Masters? I'm coaching at Bremen. Uh, at 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday. I'd love to see you there. Hey, hey, Aaron. Yeah, so practical. You could do, I don't know, someone said bottle opener. I don't know, I'm not that handy. I could do a magnet, though. It, it can't take much to take some, go buy a magnet, get some hot glue, glue it on there, stick it on my fridge or whatever I'm going to put it. Um, I like the coaster idea. That big cone of metal is a great coaster size. But then again, I don't want your glasses on my, do I really want to put a put a glass of anything on that? No, sorry. That's this one I really should have hanging up, but I don't. I don't. Hey Renee. Hey Maria. Maria, did you uh, you ran a turkey trot today? Yesterday? Congrats. I'm curious. What else do you guys all do with your medals? And I I just found out wind chimes. Yes, yeah, someone said that earlier. That's a great idea. 
I think that would be pretty cool. I might try that. Hey, Sandy, how are you? I still have your butter braid things, girl. Uh, so I'm curious to, to your ideas. Take some pictures and throw here in the, in the comments. I know you can't do it right now, but maybe after I get off live, you can throw pictures up. Um, or maybe I start a whole nother uh, post. Because I'm just curious. I'd love to see your guys' displays, what they look like. I've seen some people do some pretty cool stuff. Um, and I've just never been one of those people to do that. But, but I might if I found inspiration from one of you guys of what you do that's pretty cool. Tabletop. Like, oh my God, Darlene, that's great. That's a great one. A tabletop, like with beer caps. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, Donna. Welcome. Thank you guys for joining in. Okay. I am, this was pretty quick. So I love it in like 15 minutes, but I am going to let you all go um, because I covered it. What do you want, what, what to do with the race medals? I am real curious though to hear what ideas that you have. If you have anything good that we haven't shared with today or anybody in the, in the comments hasn't shared, please um, comment. Please, if you can, once I get off this feed, you will get them this week. Okay, cool. Um, table, I know tabletop is a great idea, but I, you know, I could maybe arrange them, but I would need someone to like make the table. I don't know. What do I look like? Bob Vila? I can't do that. So, um, Hey Candace, thanks for hopping on. Yeah. So if, if you have any cool ideas, something that you've done with your medals, um, let us know. I'm, I'm curious and I think you'd be inspiring somebody else. And again, I'll go back to if you want to get your medals engraved, my friends over at athleticdisplays.com are running a special. It's $10 to get your medal engraved, or you can get three medals engraved for uh, $25. And if you want to get a display, and they do a ton of different displays, you can go check out them on, on the website. Again, athleticdisplays.com. Um, you can enter in the code four friends, four, number four, friends 2016, and you'll get 20% off any display that you get. Ooh, Don, that's a good idea to a shadow box. And a lot of times, um, if you've ever been to a marathon or an Ironman, a lot of times they'll have like a booth set up for that stuff. You guys, they make a ton of cash doing that stuff, I'm just going to say. So if you could do it yourself, you can set it up the way you want, make it all perfect, and probably save some cash in the meantime. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for hopping on. If you have other topics, uh, suggestions for topics, let me know. Like I said, I have mapped out, I think, every week what I'm going to do through the end of the year, and I should kind of give you guys a list, and then you guys can decide which you want to really hop on to, which ones you really want to watch, and which ones you really don't care about. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys hopping on tonight. Have a great evening, and I will see you next week.